Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. Next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we can begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. And then we can go down low, touch our toes. Back up high one more time. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a wave. Excellent. And then down to touch our toes once more. Then we can stand up straight and shake it out, guys. Arms and legs. Shake it out. And then hands on hips. Let's have a wiggle side to side. Stop. And then another wiggle. Stop. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. And stop. Then we can go round and round. Round and round. And stop. We can go the other way. Let's give our spines a good stretch before we sit back down. Excellent, guys. And to finish, we're going to do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So we've now come to the end of this section of our math review lesson. And what we're going to do today is we're going to have another review. Yes, that word again, review. How do we spell, guys? R-E-V-I-E-W. Review. Yes, and in the previous math section, we were looking and we were doing calculations involving two symbols. Now, if I give you this symbol, can you tell me what it means? Addition. addition. Yes. This is the addition symbol. D -I -E -I -O addition. addition. And it's sometimes known as plus. plus. 
So if you hear plus or addition, remember they mean the same thing. Excellent. And in our previous section, we learned how to do addition calculations involving three different numbers. And remember, there was two different ways. There was the two-step method, or there was the calculating altogether method. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write three different numbers on the board and invite a student to come forward and calculate them correctly using either method that they prefer, the two-step method or the altogether method. So first of all, guys, I need some numbers. Five, two, three, four, one, six. Okay, so we have our first number, 523,416. So now time for our second number. More numbers, please, guys. Six, two, one, zero, commas there, <laughs> zero, five, four, okay, six hundred and twenty-one thousand, fifty-four, okay, we've got two numbers, now we need one more because our students will demonstrate adding three numbers. So, one more number, guys. Seven, three, two, four, zero, eight. Okay, so our third number, 732,408. What we've got now, we've got three large digit numbers on the board. And I'm going to invite a student to come forward and correctly demonstrate how to answer this addition calculation. So let's see who would like to go first. Okay, the pen is now with Pang Pon. So Pang Pon, can you come forward please? Now remember, there are two different ways to add together these numbers. So Pang Pon will now demonstrate. So Pang Pon, will you choose two-step methods or all together? All together. Okay. So take it away, Pang Pon. Yes, you can. Excellent. Yes. Perfect. So now Pang Pon is going to do the cal calculation all together. Six plus four. 18, so, okay, so 1 plus 1, plus 5, 7, perfect, Six. Four plus 3 equals 7, now 5 plus 6, 11, 18. So we write the 8, another comma. Perfect. Well done, Pang Pong. So we now have our answer. 1,876,878. And this is how we calculate three different numbers together using the all together method. Pang Pong, that was brilliant. High five, big round of applause for Pang Pong, guys. Okay, so that's how we do addition calculations involving three different numbers. But guys, if I write this symbol on the board, subtraction. subtraction. This is the second symbol that we've been learning about in this math section. And subtraction, B, T, R, A, C, T, I, O, N. Subtraction, or also known as minus, M, 
I-N-U-S. So, our students have correctly demonstrated addition with three numbers. Now, we're going to have somebody demonstrate subtraction with three different numbers. And remember, with subtraction, we will use the two-step method. We'll, cut, we'll subtract the first two numbers first, and then use the third number. So what we need now is we need some new numbers. I will clean the board first. So guys, more numbers. And our first number is the one we'll take away from. So it needs to be high. Well done. So we'll have nine, eight, comma, okay, how about four, five, six? We'll do it that way. Nine hundred, and eighty-seven thousand four hundred and fifty-six. This is our large number that we will be subtracting. So now let's have some more numbers, guys, smaller ones. Six. Okay, we can use six. Five. Four. Three. Nine. Okay, we'll use nine. Seven. Two, okay. Excellent. Six hundred and fifty-four thousand nine hundred and seventy-two. Okay, now we need another number, and the next number has to, I think, start with one. One, two, zero. Nine, nine, one, zero, okay. So our third number, 120,910. Now remember guys, with this next calculation, we're going to be doing subtraction. So we need to use the two-step method. So I would like to invite another student to come forward and demonstrate. Who can I use this time? I know, I will use Lakau. Lakau, can you come and join me at the front, please? So remember, when subtracting with three different numbers, we won't use the altogether method. What we need to do first is take our largest number and subtract this number. So Lakau, step one, can you write this table first? 987,456 minus 654,972. Excellent. So now we're ready to answer step one. Six minus two equals four. Five minus seven, need to borrow. So four becomes three, five becomes 15. Minus seven equals eight. Well done, guys. Three minus nine, need to borrow again. So seven becomes six. Three becomes 13. Perfect. Comma. Six minus four equals two. Eight minus Excellent. Brilliant, guys. So we've now answered step one. We have our answer 332,000. 484. But we're not finished yet. It's now time for step two. What we now do is we take our third number and minus from our answer to step one. So 332,484 minus 120,000. 910. 
Okay, guys, so now we can do 4 minus 0 equals 4. 8 minus 1? 7. 4 minus 9? Need to borrow. So 2 becomes 1, 4 becomes 14. 14 minus 9 equals 5. We write our comma. 1 minus 0 equals 1. 3 minus 2 equals 1. 3 minus 1 equals 2. So now we're at the end of step 2. We have our complete answer. 211,574. And that's how we correctly answer subtraction sums involving three different numbers always using the two-step method. Lackau, that was perfect. High five and a big round of applause for Lackau, please, guys. Okay, so now we've demonstrated how we can do addition calculations and also how we can do subtraction calculations. Now we'll move on. Guys, can anybody remember what do we call the sums that have addition and subtraction together? Not word problems. Combined operations. Yes. When we have calculations that involve addition and subtraction, combined operations. So what we can do... C-O-M-B... I-N-E-D. Combined. Combined means together. And then operations. O-P-E-R-A-T-I-O-N-S. Combined operations. Yes, and what we're going to do soon is we have a flashcard activity for our students to answer some combined operations. But let me demonstrate one first. Please give me some numbers, guys. Three. Three. Zero. Seven. Comma. Five. One. Two. Minus. One. One, zero, one, three, seven, zero, plus, plus nine, I don't think, okay, we'll go with nine, we'll go with the five digit number, nine, comma, nine, zero, okay. Now remember about combined operations. What do combined operations always have? Uh, uh, uh. Brackets. So remember, with a combined operation, we always do the sum that's in brackets first. So let me demonstrate. 101,370 plus 90. 1,909. Remembering about place value. Five digits and six digits. So guys, zero plus nine. Seven plus zero. Nine plus three. Twelve. So two. Carry the one. One plus one. Zero plus nine equals nine, one. So now we have our answer to the first part of our combined operation. One hundred and ninety-two thousand two hundred and seventy-nine. So now we take this answer and we subtract it from this number. So what's our number, guys? One. 100, 
So 2 minus 9. Cannot do. 12 minus 9 equals 3. 0 minus 7 cannot do. So 10 minus 7. 4 minus 2. 7 minus 2. 0 minus 9. Okay, so we now have our final answer to our combined operation. 115,233. So that's how we successfully answer combined operations. And teachers, what we'll do now is we'll have our students come forward and answer some combined operations. So prior to the lesson, you'll need to have a bowl and all of the flash answers, all the flash sums to the combined operations in separate pieces of paper in the bowl. Then we'll ask our students to come forward and answer some, and we can all do the answers together. But well, first of all, I'll clean the board. I have my combined operation flash sums in here. So the first student I would like to invite forward, let me see. Prel, can you come and join me at the front of class, please? And Prel, I would like you to choose a combined operation. Show it to your friends. So we've got 348,250. 362,000. 545 minus 275,367. So, Prel, first of all, can you write the combined operation on the board? So, 348, 48, 2, Five zero plus open brackets six two five four five minus two seven five three six seven close brackets excellent so we're now ready to answer our combined operation. Which part of the sum should we do first? In brackets. In brackets. So Prel, over to you. Three, six, two. Three, six, two, comma, five, four, five. Minus. Excellent. Okay. So first of all, 5 minus 7. We need to borrow. 15 minus 7 equals 8. 4. Excellent. 4 minus 3 is 1. 12 minus 5. 7. Borrow. So 15 minus 7 equals 8. Excellent. So step 1, we have our answer. 87,178. But we're not finished. Now it's time for step 2. 348,000. 250 plus 87,178. Excellent. And well done, Prel, looking at place value. Zero plus eight. Five plus seven. So two down, carry the one.
Wow, Prev, that was excellent and that was very quick. So you can see we now have our final answer to the combined operation. 435,428. So that was brilliant. High five, big round of applause for Prel, please, guys. So teachers, you can see the activity we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and do the same activity with your own students for the next 10 to 15 minutes. And remember, for each flash combined operation problem, use a different student and have everybody answering together. And we're going to carry on playing here. So now, time for my next student. Well, first of all, I'll clean the board. Okay, so the next student I would like to invite to the front of class is Pakbung. Pakbung, can you come and join me, please? And can you choose a combined operation? Excellent. So let's see, show it to your friends. We have 200. 510 plus excellent guys very well read and now Pak Bung can you write the combined operation sum on the board so open brackets 2 7 comma Five one zero minus one two two comma three five six close brackets <laughs> plus eighty to eight two comma five four seven equals and which part of our combined operation sum do we do first? Al brackets. Always in brackets. So, pack boom time for step one. Two, three, seven, comma, five, one, zero, ten. And then minus one, two, two. Okay, so we're now ready to answer step one. Zero minus six. Need to borrow. So one becomes zero, zero becomes ten. Ten minus six? Four. Zero minus five? Borrow again. Equals five. Four minus three? Perfect. So we have our answer to step one. One hundred and fifteen thousand one hundred and fifty-four. But we're not finished yet. It's now time for step two. We need to add this number two. So plus eighty-two thousand five hundred. 47. Excellent, Pak Bung. Well done as well. Pak Bung has noticed it's a five digit number, so the six digit is blank. So, guys, four plus seven. Four plus seven is four. Eleven. So, write one, carry the one. One plus five. Five plus nine equals five plus four equals nine plus one equals. Plus 10. Okay. Wow, that was very quick, but very right too. So, Pak Boom, very well done. We now have our final answer 197,701. And that's the answer to this combined operation. Pak Boom, excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Pak Boom, guys. <laughs> a 
okay, time for our next student. But first of all, I'll clean the board. And now I would like to invite Dan to come and join me at the front of class. Dan will pick the next combined operation. Excellent, Dan. Just the one and then show it to our friends. 654,000. 289 plus and 2,784. Excellent. Well read, guys. So now, Dan, can you write the combined operation on the board? So we start 6, 5, 4, Comma, two, eight, nine, plus, open bracket, three, zero, two, comma, seven, eight, four, minus, two, nine, eight, three, zero, one, close bracket, equals, so guys, like always, we'll do the sum in brackets first. So Dan, can you write this calculation for me? The subtraction calculation. 784 minus 298301 or 01. Okay. 4 minus 1 equals 3. Two minus eight, we can't do. So, we and with we have a zero, we take from here, well done. So that becomes two. So 12 minus eight equals four. Equals zero. Excellent. So we have our first answer. 4,400. And 83. and 83. But we're not finished yet. Look at the number we now need to add. So, down, can you write the next calculation? Plus 6, 5, 4, 2, 8, 9. So, guys, 9 plus 3, 12. What? Plus 8. 16 plus 1, 17. 1 plus 4, plus 2, comma, 4 plus 4. Excellent. Well done, Brown, and very quick. <laughs> so we now have our final answer. 658,000. 772. And that's how we answer our combined operations. Dan, that was brilliant. High five. Big round of applause for Dan, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the flashcards activity where they could all answer the combined operations together. And it's great to see the knowledge that our students have built up over the previous few lessons. And what we've got now, guys, is our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this sequence, we'll have a game of teacher says. So if teacher says, we can do. If teacher doesn't say, don't do. So, hands on head. Teacher never said. <laughs> <laughs> hands in the air. Teacher says, hands in the air. Hands down. Teacher says, one arm up, one arm down. Teacher says, swap. Teacher says, swap. Teacher says, swap. Swap. Well done, guys. Teacher says, arms down. Teacher says, turn around. Back the other way. <laughs> teacher says turn back the other way 
teacher said, touch your shoulders. Shoulders. <laughs> teacher says, touch your knees. Touch your toes. Teacher says, stand up straight. Teacher says, stand on one leg. Teacher says, swap legs. Swap legs. Okay, teacher says, stand up straight. Then teacher says, into a little ball. Five, four, three, two, one, jump. <laughs> teacher says, jump. Excellent, guys. And teacher says, sit down. And now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. And the final thing that we've been learning about recently is word problems. We were learning about addition word problems, and then we learned about subtraction word problems. So the worksheet for this review lesson is four different word problems. The first two are subtraction word problems, and the final two, three and four, are addition word problems. Our students need to read each of them, and then, as always, show their answers I'm working out in the space provided. But what's the first thing to do, guys? Names on, top. names on top. And give our students around 15 minutes for this activity and just monitor the class, help them with anything they need. So, like out for you. Here's yours. You're welcome. Flow for you. You're welcome. Sam. You're welcome. Ned. You're welcome. Nadia. You're welcome. Pat for you. You're welcome. Pat Boom, you're welcome. And Chu, here's yours. You're welcome. So guys, names on top, and then have a read of your word problems. Remember, with word problems, read them carefully, identify the numbers for calculation, and then do your calculation. So the first two, subtraction. And then three and four, addition. And if you need any help, let me know. So the first one is about cookies. How many cookies are there? And then how many cookies were sold? And then the answer will be the number of cookies left. So what we do, two, this number first, the number of cookies, excellent, and then minus, subtract this number. One, two, eight. One, two, four, eight. Eight, three, six. So that's our first word problem, subtraction. Okay. They are, so... Or, Prow, you can just say there were how many cookies left. Excellent. And then number two, subtraction. One and two, subtraction. Three and four, addition. Excellent, guys. Good to see you showing your working out, too. Cookies. Excellent, Nadia. Well done. So one and two, guys. Subtraction. Three and four, addition. Excellent, Hugh. That's perfect. Well done. 
brilliantly done. Pak Bung, very good. Pat, okay. Let's see. So we've got the first number. Correct. Oh. Two, six, four. Six, three, five. You see, that's why we have to be correct. So now calculate with that number. That's why we need to read our word problems correctly, guys. Excellent, Macau. Very well done. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to read the different word problems and answer them correctly based on the information. And remember word problems, it's important to read them carefully, identify the numbers for the calculation so that we can answer them correctly. But that was brilliant guys, very well done. And that's all for today's lesson. So we hope you've enjoyed it and enjoyed reviewing the different things we've learned about recently. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again soon. <laughs>